Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about redirecting in React Router. So we can mimic the behavior of an, a normal traditional server-side redirect. Usually there are two scenarios. One is after something happens, a user completes something, they save a profile, they submit a form, they edit a to-do, whatever it is, we redirect them back somewhere else after that event or after that submission of the form. The other use is when something goes wrong, uh, a user does something that we don't want them to do, or they submit, I don't know, bad data, or they somehow break something, we can redirect them dynamically using React Router. So there's two options. The first is to use the redirect component, and this will go directly in our markup. You return it inside of a render method, and it will redirect to wherever we specify. So usually, oof, this is horrible grammar. You shouldn't have gotten here, go here instead. But hopefully it's a, the gist of this is clear. We use this uh, when something goes wrong or we want to move a user, generally not in a positive scenario, not when something, you know, a button is clicked or they submit a form, but usually um, when we need to get them out of somewhere quickly, almost like there's nothing to see here, get out of here. So let me show you an example. Right now um, in our food component, we're taking the props.match.params.name, whatever the name is from the route, and we're immediately using it. But imagine that a user enters a string that contains a number like this, let's say seven up. It sort of breaks everything. Well, it breaks the image. I love to eat seven up, okay. And then we couldn't find that photo. So there probably will be some that would work with a number, but I'm trying to come up with an example here. So we are just going to redirect whenever this name contains a number. So the way that it works is we import the redirect component, redirect, and I need to use the braces because it's not a default export from React Router DOM. And an easy place to start would be to redirect automatically without any conditional logic just redirect um, to is the name of the parameter or the prop let's just redirect to slash every time and you'll see what happens as i go to slash food slash something or i type a query here it takes us right back where we already are it never even bothers showing us any of this content so that's probably not what we want to do but it could work instead we want to redirect somewhere else when the name that is passed in contains a number. So the actual logic to check if something contains a number is not that bad. The simplest way would be to use a regular expression and test it with name, which is whatever is being passed in there, like chicken or ice cream. And this is just checking to see if there's any digits, any numeric digits in name. So then we'll do our little conditional if there are, if this is true, we will redirect. So redirect, and we'll just go back to the root, okay? Otherwise, we will display the h1 and the image. Right now, it's not gonna be very happy with me because we have two adjacent JSX elements, so I need to enclose them. We've seen that before. So I'll just use a div to help me here. So I'll just use a div and then close out my curly braces. Okay, so now we're saying, if there is a numeric digit in name, redirect to slash, otherwise show this content. Now if I come back here and I try going to popcorn, we see I love to pe eat popcorn and we see our image. And if I go back and instead I do seven up, it takes us right back here. Now it's not a great experience for the user. They're just basically on the same page with their input deleted. But for now, it's fine. We could add a separate error. Honestly, what would be better is to intercept it over here and prevent them from even changing routes if their input contains a number. But that's not really the point of what I'm trying to show you now. I'm trying to come up with an example for a redirect. So this is fine. In the next video, I'm going to show you another way to redirect a user. And it's a little different. We do it actually inside of code somewhere else. So not in the render, not as a element like we have here but we do it up in some method, usually an event handler, like handle submit. You do something with form data and then you send the user somewhere else. 